Hello, I'm Eric Rees, and we're here to do Tai Chi Chuan for the next 30 minutes or so. I'd like to give everyone a fair uh, caution. Only work at 70% of your perceived level. Avoid overdoing it, stay safe. Senior Resources of Guilford. Also, I do not take responsibility for your safety. That's up to you. So some of the exercises, just skip over or pull back and modify them. Everything I'm showing you can be done in a chair. So if you prefer to do something sitting down, you're welcome to do that. Also, you can check out the videos that we've done so far on my YouTube channel. My channel name is Tai Chi Chuan Ism, I-A-S-M, Tai Chi Chuan Ism. My name is Eric Rees, and my school is Silk Tiger School of Tai Chi Chuan. Okay, there's all the plugs fit to print. And now let's go right to work. Let's circle the wrists, stretching the fingers, and settle into the body. Adjust posture. Gently tuck the tailbone. So you feel like your hips are under your shoulders. So we don't want to be standing like this or like this. We want to be aware of the hips being level at the belt line. So we don't want to be standing like this. Again, if we can help it and do it that way without straining, relax the knees, unlock the knees a little bit, and let's reverse direction. Gently stretching the wrists, oiling the joints, Now we can turn some attention to our breathing. Deep, slow, diaphragmatic breathing. Also called abdominal breathing because the abdomen moves with the breath. In the beginning, we typically expand the abdomen while we inhale, like we're filling a balloon or a beach ball with air. And then as we exhale, the beach ball or the balloon deflates. So we have expansion all the way around the waist and the top and bottom. We think of the waist, the abdomen as a kind of a ball and then deflate inward toward the center. And what's happening to the pelvic region and also the diaphragm as we inhale, they're moving up and down and exhale, they move toward each other. Inhale, expand. Exhale, feel things going toward the center of the abdomen, gently expanding. And we want to do all our breathing through the nose when possible. If you're really stuffy, you may not be able to exhale easily through the nose, but when you can, inhale and exhale through the nose. And let's go ahead and do another loosening exercise. This one prevents arthritis, can also heal it, presenting a gift. Hands are in contact, punch downward. Open, stretch each finger. Notice I'm also using the legs. We don't want to leave anything out. Tai Chi is a whole body exercise all of the time. Even if you notice things aren't visibly moving on my body, there is movement of sorts. It may be contraction and expansion. It may be compression and release. Very subtle at times. Now, when I suggest breathing coordination, if that's a little bit too much for you to think about today, just don't worry about it. Let the breath happen naturally. The most important thing is to do it slowly and deeply. Over time, you'll be able to be slower with your breathing and be more comfortable with it. You'll also be able to breathe more deeply. And let's relax it. 
Let's go ahead and do a variation on the first of the eight pieces of brocade. This boosts the immune system. So I think everybody's concerned with that right now in order to fight things off that we don't want to make us sick. Clasp the fingers and we're going to push up with the palms. Lengthen the entire body and then come down. Notice again, I'm bending the knees. Now we turn the hands over, palms are down, gently stretch. On this one, we're going to inhale on the stretch and exhale on the relax. Sometimes we do it the other way. This is called two hands reach for the heavens. Now we can add a little more challenge to it as we go up, we're going to gently lift the heels. It can just be a quarter inch, doesn't need to be a lot. We don't want to lose our balance. Inhale. Exhale. In. X. In. Now hold the position. If you're lifting your heels, then you're balancing on the balls of the feet. Continue to breathe. Whenever we say hold, we don't mean hold the breath. We always continue to breathe evenly and naturally. Reach out and stretch all the way to the walls. Lower the arms. And now we're going to drop into the heels with a thump and drop. When we drop like that, we let the body shake and we exhale. So in Chinese medical theory, what we're doing is we're dropping the diseased chi out of the ground, through the feet and discharging it into the earth. So we drop like that with a thump at the end. Okay, let's go ahead and do another one. Working on the same principle, lifting the heels, number eight of the eight pieces of brocade. I'll turn sideways so you can see it. I'm going to lift the heels even just a little bit is enough. If that's uncomfortable or causes you concern, don't lift the heels, just stretch at the wrist. Inhale, exhale, in. X, in, X, and let's keep going. Now I'm going to challenge you a bit, see if you can find the meditation of our practice. We say turn the gaze inward. It's easier to feel the outside of the body but how about feeling the inside? What's happening on the inside? And that includes our mind, our thoughts. And relax. Let's go ahead and do knee rotations. You're going to step over with your left foot. Hands above the knees, gently circle while you're looking forward nine times, oiling the joints, reverse, make sure the knees like what we're doing here. If they don't like it, we're doing too much, overdoing it. Pull back a little bit, make a smaller circle. If it still hurts to move the knees, just rub them in circles, massage the knees. And we're done, right? Let's shake it out. Okay, normally in an hour class, we spend about 20 minutes warming up. A third of the class is just warming up to make sure we don't injure ourselves when we start working harder. 
but here we only have a half hour. So we just do a short ser series of warm ups. So I want you to recognize that we're not really sufficiently warmed up to do harder work. And yet this is a series where I want to keep introducing more challenging work and exercise. So maybe you walk away from the program, except when it's live, of course, you walk away and you keep doing more repetitions and add some of the other exercises that you've already learned. Okay, this way we can work safely even though we're working in a shorter period of time. I'm gonna hold on here until I don't have to anymore. And we're going to swing the leg at the hip, very loose, just to loosen the joint. Now we wanna make sure that we're not doing this. Okay, so we're just going to keep the body straight and gently loosen and let's go to the other side. Okay, good. Now I'm going to sit down. And I want to show you an exercise. I think for most of you, it may be safer to start in a seated position with this one. Let's take our knee up in the air and see if we can get it above the waist. A couple things we can do from a chair. Okay, let's take the other side. Take hold of it. Good. Now let's go back to the other side. Can we reach our hand underneath our foot like we're supporting our leg? Can we extend the leg? Aren't you glad you're sitting down? And relax. Other side. Can we reach under our foot? Now, if not, you could just go back to this one again and work on that. Extend the leg. I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see it. relax. Now I want to hold that for maybe a count of 10. If five is enough, I'm just going to stop at five and change sides and maybe do a set of three, three times on each side. Now here's another one to open the hip. And you'll see uh, generally the difference uh, between men and women when they're sitting cross-legged is the female might cross over like this, right? And the, the, the man will sit like this. So this is like when you're sitting on the floor cross-legged, but we're just crossing one leg. So you wanna see if you can get your ankle past the knee toward the hip a little bit, and you can support the foot with this hand. And now we gently bounce the knee. Gently opening that hip. Kind of rocking it. Now if the bouncing hurts, don't bounce. You can just let the weight of your arm rest on the leg and help open up that tight hip. And let's change sides. My support foot is flat on the floor. We don't have the heel up or the toes. Ankle past the knee support the foot and gently bounce. I'm a little tighter on this side, I think. I need to do this one more. And there's a floor version of this as well, but I think just starting out sitting in the chair is good for most of us.
and relax. Okay, so we can shake it out a little bit or stand up to shake it out, holding on to the chair once again and shake. And the other side, shake. Okay, good. Now I'm going to do another one. I don't know if we've done this before, but now that our legs are a little more warmed up than usual, this is called looking backwards with wisdom. This starts to introduce us to what's called the cross-legged stance. And it's in all martial arts. It's a very important movement to master. So if I was just doing the step, I might cross over and then squat down and it's like I'm blocking a kick, blocking a punch, somebody over there attacking, and I step away and cross and pick up the heel. And over time, you'll be able to get lower, you'll be able to hold it longer and do it like that. And then of course, the, the other side, notice how my knee is tucked And the longer you stay there, the harder it gets. So the idea is you start gradually. You might feel a little lightheaded when you come up. Okay, so that's not the exercise, but I'm showing you the stance. In learning it, in the basis of this exercise, I'm gonna turn my back to you so you may not be able to hear me as well. Why don't I show it once from this angle first? The first part, is twist and stretch. Twist, stretch. So we're loosening up, again, the waist, which includes the hips. The arms are out diagonally from the body. Looking backwards with wisdom, but I'm not looking backwards. I'm only looking left and right. So I'll show it from this other side. And turning to my left, you could do the same with me. Stretch, relax, stretch, relax, stretch, relax, stretch, relax. Stretch, relax. And you're breathing the whole time. So when you're twisting the waist and breathing there, there's a constricted area in which you're breathing and it's helping you stretch this area, which is also another very tight area of the body. Now, that's the first version, the basic version. The second version, a little more advanced, is still not quite looking backwards. It's still only looking left and right. Okay, so I'll show it from the front. I'm gonna turn my feet this time turn the lead foot on the heel. Let's just do the legs first. And shift forward, pick up the back heel and rotate that leg. Now this is engaging our sense of balance. Turning the foot to the wall. Shift forward and as this leg empties out, lift up the heel and rotate that leg. So actually both feet are facing the same way as if I'm going to step or kick in this direction. Both feet facing that way. Now adjust. So one foot turning on the heel, the lead foot, the other one turning on the toe. We've already increased the level of difficulty or challenge, I like to call it. It's a little more positive. And now with the arms, I'll do it this way. Turning to the left, this time the hand position is different on the back hand. It's actually different on the front too. More martial arts. Back hand, a bird's beak pointing up. We call it a crane's beak. The crane's beak points up. Like when they tuck their head into their body. This way. Turn. And this way. Now over time, your feet could be wider apart and you might go lower. 
you can actually touch your knee to the ground or almost. And of course we call that relax. And the real work for the muscles is getting up again. This is the intermediate version. And relax. Now I'm going to show the third version, the advanced version, with the caution that nobody watching, unless you've been my student for a while, unless you know you're in very good physical condition, unless you know that your knees have no problems, okay, I'm going to show it just for your educational reference, okay. <laughs> All right, so I have a wider stance, and now we're going to look backwards, and it looks like this. And now you can see the cross-legged stance. Now I'm turning that foot beyond left and right. It's going toward the back of the room, but not directly to the back of the room. Very important not to hurt the knee. And you can go down and up if you like. You can just hold it. Turn. Or keep moving continuously the way I'm showing now. We're looking at the back wall, not beyond it. Okay. So now you can see how we can continue to up the game the challenge level of Tai Chi and Qigong so that we have an obvious marker of when we're getting more healthy, more fit, able to do more exercise with less pain, less discomfort. Okay, so this is a part of our regimen and should be for everyday practice. Okay, now let's get into the Tai Chi form which helps us utilize all these physical skills that we're gaining by doing these exercises these warm-ups. Today we're going to do, well, we'll go through the first section of the form. I think we can safely do that on a video. Second section is more complex, best learned in person, but let's do the first section of the form. And we start with commencement. Very relaxed now. Are you noticing you feel a little warmer? That's why we call them warm-ups. Okay. Be aware of your body inside and outside. Grasp bird's tail to the right. Grasp bird's tail to the left. Ward off. Roll back. Press, two-hand push, single whip, making a rainbow shape, form the eagle's beak and punch, push. Playing the harp. White stork cools its wings. Brush knee to the left. Your left foot's forward. Your left hand is brushing past the left knee. Balance. Playing the violin. Brush knee to the left. Step parry punch. Turn. Circular step. Parry. 
hunch. Apparent close up. Cross hands. Close. Very good. Tai Chi Chuan. Exercise. Meditation. Self-defense. All in one. All the time. Tai Chi Chuan. The supreme ultimate fitness system. That's a more literal translation of what the Chinese words mean. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, let's practice needle at sea bottom. Since we've done a lot of leg work, let's keep going. In the 80s, they would say, feel the burn. I've got my left, I'm gonna have my right foot forward, you have your left foot forward. There's a brush knee to the left. I'm mirroring you here. Balance, needle at sea bottom, point down. Like you're helping somebody up off the floor. And come up. Now let's do a brush knee again. We're just making a little exercise out of two postures. Brush knee left, needle at sea bottom, Empty leg, no weight here. Ideally, may take some practice. Squat down, come up, brush knee. I'll turn around. Brush knee to the right. Your right leg's forward, right hand brushing. Like you're sweeping aside an attack. Needle at sea bottom. Come up. Brush knee to the right. The hand sweeping aside an attack. It could be a punch. Sweep it aside. Whoa, I almost hit myself. You know, when you can really beat yourself up, you know you're a master. Okay, so you block a kick. Blocking here blocking here. Okay. All right. So brush knee to the right, needle at sea bottom. And if you were holding somebody, you could still kick. Leg strength. Why we do Tai Chi? Have a happy old age. Happy and healthy together. You can't separate them. Not healthy, not happy. Healthy, happy. Why we do Tai Chi? Strengthen the legs, prevent falls, prevent the injuries related to falls. Continue to use your legs your entire life so you're happy. You can go places and do things with your grandkids, maybe your great grandkids. Why practice? Okay, that's why. So now we get ready, we'll do another one. Um, another challenging movement. Again, blocking. Golden rooster stands on one leg. Now you see the benefit we get by sitting in the chair and lifting the knee up because we want to be able to lift our leg up, not this much, not to the waist, but above the waist. And you might want to hold on, right? We've demonstrated that in past shows. Now I step back, blocking again blocking a punch to the head, blocking a kick to the waist or the groin, blocking in a half circle and up. So I'll take a few steps forward. You get to see it from the front. Imitate as best you can. Notice the bottom hand comes behind the forward arm. Blocking and come up. Step backwards. Blocking and come up. Step backwards, block, come up, 
It almost like the knee is trying to touch the elbow. Can you do it? You can practice and do it. Eventually, you can do it all. Now I walk forward, same movement, walking forward, block, come up, block, come up, block. I'm coming right into your living room. Okay, just leave the jewelry on the dresser and stepping backwards, block and come up, block and come up. And when we lift the leg and stand on one leg, we inhale on this part and exhale. Now I'm coming forward again. Exhale, relax, inhale, come up. Exhale, relax, inhale, come up. Going backwards. Exhale, relax. Inhale, come up. Exhale, relax. Inhale. Come up, relax, shake it out. You got to learn how to stretch so you can give yourself a pat on the back for a job well done. So, pat both sides. Okay, good work. We're going to go ahead and close up. Make a fist with the right hand. Cover the knuckles with the left hand and we clap three times.